Hi and welcome back and here is the first of a two-part video uh, regarding this beautiful guitar that you see before you. Uh, it was going to be a one-part video but my phone's not playing ball today and unfortunately I'm limited to the, the technology of a phone doing what it's meant to do. So uh, first part is me just telling you about the guitar, second part will be me just playing some sounds uh, and hopefully giving you a chance to kind of hear what it sounds like in a variety of different kind of tonal settings. So first of all, what is it you're looking at today? Well, you might have seen my unboxing video last week, which showed uh, me in the minutes after this guitar arrived, uh, ripping it from the, the packaging. Uh, this is a Patrick James Eggle Macon Jr. And uh, you can see where it takes its inspiration from. It's a very simple sort of stripped back Les Paul type guitar. And uh, what we got here is a slab mahogany body. No comfort contours, but it's very light, so it's really comfy to play. We have got a Santos Rosewood fretboard. A 2A figured maple neck, which hopefully you can just about make out the figuring. Really lovely neck. Um, and then in terms of the construction, obviously you've got a set neck with Patrick's really nice easy access uh, neck joint there. Uh, you've got this Nürburgring metallic green which is finished in his 58 nitro heat aged formula so you can see the, the cracking and the checking starting to appear. The neck is similarly finished with nitro but it has this worn through finish so you can see where the the finish is applied here and then it's kind of been rubbed back on the actual sort of playing area to make it feel really smooth. And although it's described as a fat C neck, it's actually incredibly comfortable to play. I don't like big necks, uh, but this doesn't feel big. There's something about it, it kind of melts into your hand and it's it's all helped by the, the really nicely rolled edge fretboard and perfect fret work of these 22 uh, medium Jess car frets. Uh, the whole thing's really beautifully put together and just so comfy to play. Tuners are vintage style Gotos and the bridge is an ABM um, wraparound bridge. Pickups come courtesy of the British company Mojo, they're hand wound. You've got a low output humbucker and then you've got the sort of staple topped uh, P90. Three way toggle switch tells you what you're doing and then in terms of controls we've got a pair of volumes and a pair of tones and the bridge pickup tone control pulls to give you a split option on the bridge pickup. So it's a gorgeous guitar as you can see and uh, a real kind of a real sort of old school rock and roller kind of thing really. Uh, so join me in a moment for part two and I'll give you some sounds. Cheers. <laughs> 